Hey everyone, it's Randy Malden. Just want to check in before we get started to see if you can hear me. If you can hear me, just go ahead and uh, type in the chat box that you can hear me. That way I know my sound is working. Everything is good to go. If you can't hear me, then we're in trouble. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Very good. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I use the headset with the noise canceling microphone because I live at home with kids and dogs and all that other kind of good stuff. So I want to make sure that we don't get interrupted as we begin our training today, as well as the training over the next few weeks. And if you're coming in November, then in November as well, because we're going to have a good time training and i enjoy this and it's going to be a lot of fun so very good we are at the top of the hour and i do not like to punish the punctual so thank you for arriving my name is randy malden i am the founder of supply leaders academy and the provider of the cpsm certification boot camp now the virtual boot camp as well as supply chain management certification boot camp whatever you've enrolled in that's what we're here for and today's purpose is to orient you to the platform that we're going to be using for the training which you are on right now but we want to make sure that you understand how to use it at its best show you the online training platform where you'll find your on-demand training as well as demonstrate to you our team building virtual conference rooms that we'll be using throughout the training so you can interact with the other folks in the training as well and that was a really good feature we had last over the last boot camp which we did last month which was the first time we did the virtual boot camp very successful everyone had a great time and now we look forward to continuing that success so again welcome everyone let me go ahead and kick it off with our uh, presentation and uh, share our screen with you and then we will kick off the presentation and one thing I want to mention is that at the end of today's presentation we will be doing a contest based on the content of the presentation where you can win $10 gift card from amazon.com and use it however you see fit so let's go ahead and uh, share my screen and we are going to have a good time all right so we have that that right there all right very good so again everyone my name is randy malden founder of supply leader academy and today is supply chain management certification boot camp orientation before we get started i want you to go ahead and set up our poll everywhere this is our interactive platform that allows us to ask questions allows us to interact with the content because it's not only multiple choice questions but we also have some other pretty cool things it's also software we use at the end so if you don't mind go ahead and go to pollev.com and enter the code scmjobs1550 just open up another browser window have it available for you because we'll be using it throughout and we'll be doing an exercise here to make sure everyone can connect and enjoy the platform. It really just brings the, the interaction alive. And that way, it's not just me sitting there talking on the screen. It's actually you participating in the training to drive home those main points that we need to master as we go through the, or the boot camp itself. So if everyone's there, let's go ahead and kick it off with our first exercise which is always interesting where you simply kick on click on the screen and let us know where you're from so if you can just go ahead and click anywhere on the screen where you're from where you're dialing in from just you know click on the map just take your mouse swing it on over and you can actually click wherever you want on the map like i'm right here in florida so you just gotta click there and go right to there and it will show you that you're there okay so just go ahead and click wherever you are and you, you know, you're probably just trying to say, Randy, where is this uh, platform? How do I get access to it? So let me go ahead and back up again. If you look at the top, it tells you exactly the URL you want to go to, which is right up here. Okay. Let's see here. Everyone can get in. This kind of test our software to make sure that it's working and everyone's able to get into it. For some reason, the pictures don't always work right off the bat. But uh, let me go ahead and come out of here let me go escape this so make sure if anyone's having any technical troubles i can find out in our show time here it's very good all right i'm gonna go ahead and again just go to that website and i'm going to go back into our presentation and go ahead and 
let us know where you're from. We've got people from all over the world involved in this training. We're going to have folks involved from Germany, from the United States, from Trinidad. I, we, we've got people from all over the world in this training. So all you have to do is log in, go ahead and click there. And we want to make sure everyone's able to access. That's the main point for this particular piece right here. So um, if you're having trouble, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and move on. I want to make sure uh, that you're able to use the software, but at the same time, we don't want to sit here and just wait for, because we are having technical difficulties, then that's not necessarily a good thing either. But we'll work it out. We've got a few more things and we'll be able to test this. So by the time we get to the end, we'll have the competition. All right. So well, the other thing I want to share with you next is every day or every week, we will send out a link to the virtual training classroom. And what this does is where you'll log in. And as you can see here on the screen is you'll go in and you'll receive an email. And once you receive the email, it'll be just like this. Just go ahead and click that register. Now it's going to don't click what it says here is don't click the uh, calendar event. Yes, no, maybe. That's not going to get you into the actual event, even though it's syncing up with your scheduling event. Instead, you want to make sure you click register now. Once you click register now, it's going to bring you to the next step. So go ahead and click on the screen. Where would you click to enter the classroom? Just on your screen, just click wherever it is. Take your mouse and click anywhere right here. Maybe it's not working. How's it? Has it activated now? Maybe that's what was going on before. Activate. Show responses. There we go. Perfect. That's what's going on. My software isn't showing me. Very good. Thank you. Click right there. Register now. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. That was op operator on error on my side. Why it wouldn't work right. It wasn't showing us the results. Okay. So that's correct. Once you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page and you want to click register now. You're just going to enter your email and your name. It's going to register now, just like here, first name, last name, email, we'll send it out, and then it will bring you to this page. It'll let you know how much time before the session begins. Once the session begins, it's going to refresh itself. It's going to bring you right into the actual classroom. If you hit the start time and it's not working quite right, just reload your screen, reload your browser, and then everything will sync back up and you'll arrive in the classroom. Usually when we begin, every time we do begin, we start with a little bit of exercise to kind of give people time to connect and sync up. And that was another reason for this training is to make sure your systems are compatible with our system so that if there are any technical difficulties. We've got a few days to work it out to make sure everything is working correctly before the boot camp starts. Once you log in, it'll bring you right in here. It'll check your system, make sure you're good to go. Go ahead and click the continue. And as you can saw, you saw me earlier, I'm wearing a different shirt today, but this is we the screen where you come in. Once you're in this screen, let me go ahead and show you a few things here so you can get the most from the virtual boot camp experience. First and foremost is info at the top. It kind of gives you an idea of the session, where we are, why you should be here, what the session's all about. That's up here at the top. Uh, you click this right here. The next is the questions. Now, this is very important. The reason this is important is because if you have a specific question about the content, this is where you're going to type that question because it loads up all the questions. This is different than the chat feature. The chat feature, as people are commenting and making comments and participating and doing things, it just rolls, 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 and I may never see your question. However, if you put it in the question here, you type in your question, I will see it because during the breaks, at the end of each section, I go into here to make sure I catch up on any content that people may have uh, misunderstood, may need more clarification, may need additional examples, whatever it is. I go right here to the questions to do that. So at the end of each section, at the breaks, this is where I go to answer your questions. Chat, the chat, which I'll show you here in a few seconds, that is for just comments and general interaction, not for specific questions that you want answered during the session. The next will be the polls. We'll have polls here, but we're going to be using a different platform, but this is where you may see a poll here. And then we have the chat feature. The chat feature is where you can ask me questions, but we want you to ask questions in the question section, but make comments. Let me know my sound is working. Interact with your fellow students. If you have comments for them or want to share something with them, that's where you can do that. And then here are handouts. At the handouts are where we're going to have documents, our case studies, worksheets, questions, 
all different types of materials. This is where this is going to be, and that'll be available once the session begins. I will send it via email as well as send it to you here so you can download it and print it. And I'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later, what kind of handouts you're going to get and what you can do with those handouts. This is where we have a request to open mic. So if we have an opportunity to ask questions or I would like to hear from someone or you would like to comment during the training itself, this is where you would request open mic. The only challenge with this feature is that it takes time to connect to people and what we don't like to do is have long pauses during our training so that for example someone in california or in germany you know it takes time for these electrons to travel through the air to get to wherever you are so there may be a slight delay so i try not to use this feature now when we get into the team conference room that's where we're actually going to have voice interaction and some some camera exchanges and some other things so but this is where you would actually request to open your mic so if i say for example hey would anyone like to share a comment or about what we just talked about. If you'd like to go ahead and request to open your mic, I'll unmute you and you can make some comments. This is where you would go to do that. Next are notes. As we're going through the training, you can actually make notes here. It'll be part of your training file. And then at the end, it'll be the exit. Now, I'm gonna ask you, where would you click? And if you don't mind, let me make sure I'm here. We are good, show responses. Very good, and it's activate. It's activated. Okay, show response. So I'm going to ask a question. Where would you dot, dot, dot? And what I need you to do is just click on the screen here and let me know where you would click. So, for example, where would you click to ask me a specific question? Where would you click on this screen to ask me a specific question? All right. Where would you click on the screen to ask me a specific question? Activate. Make sure it's activated. Okay. Make sure it's good. Showing responses. Yep, showing responses. All right. So if you could just go onto your screen and just click anywhere, you would go to ask me a specific question. All right. Can anyone see? Is it not working? I don't know. Hopefully it should be working. It worked last time. All right. Not lock. Oh, we're good. Good, good. OK, so the answer is right here. This is where you would go to click to ask me a specific question. The next would be the chat feature. Where would you go to access your chat feature? Correct. Right here. And then if we had handouts for that day's activity, like a case study or something that's beneficial for you that you need to keep, you would go right here to handouts. All right go to your handouts. Right, very good. Okay, so that's how we would interact in the virtual classroom that you're involved with right now. All right, very good. And then at the end of each session, let me back up. At the end right here, you click exit. And once you exit, once I close out the training for the day, you'll be brought to this feedback opportunity. This is where you can rate the session, how well we did and what we didn't do well, and then give us feedback. This is very important because we take action on this feedback immediately. So we incorporate whatever we receive here in the feedback in the next day's lesson. So if you have any comments, things that didn't work right, things that you want to see change, added, slow down. For example, I know I talk very fast sometimes. So, hey, Randy, you're talking too fast, slow down. This is where you put that in this comment. I would take it, read it, review it, and it incorporate it the next time we have a training session. All right. Now, you may be experiencing latency or some type of delay in the training classroom to where I'm actually asking questions. And then by the time you hear it, I'm moving on to something else. This is usually caused by a delay based on server speed or something else out there. So what you need to do is make sure your computer is tuned up and ready for the virtual classroom environment. Otherwise, you'll feel that, you know, things are slagging and you're not participating in other things. So what you need to do is make sure you turn off everything else. Now, every day I'd go through this. I turn off all my applications. I restart my computer. I clear my browser cache. I clear that out. I restart my browsers, do all that, make sure I've got the freshest connections, fresh everything on my screen because there's a lot of traffic going on, not just here in my home, but also all throughout the world. 
Okay, so a lot of traffic. So you want to make sure your computer is top notch. All right, turn off all applications, restart your computer, sign into the session, keep other programs running in the background to a minimum. Some of you may have email running, which is understandable, but don't have a lot of other programs running. You know, this is where you want to be when you're here. If you're experiencing too much latency and things aren't working right, just close out the browser, restart your machine, come back to that link, and we'll be, be here waiting. It doesn't shut down. You won't lose the connection. The connection is up and running. So long as I have the connection up and working, it's working well for you. All right. So if you're having any issues, just watch that, you know, just re basically restart, reset, and you'll be good to go. Now, what's the backup plan? If for any reason the technology blows up on us, gets super clunky, is not working, what is our backup plan? If for anything, something happens here in the studio and I need to basically say, hey, Showtime's not working, we're going to plan B. Plan B is this. I will let you know, hey, I'm going to plan B. Be prepared to receive an email. I will send you a Google meeting link that will come to your email. Click that link. Once everyone arrives in the Google meeting, then we will continue on. All right. So that's our backup plan. So if Showtime's not working, it's very reliable. It worked the last few weeks. No problems, no issues. I've used it for other things. Again, no problems, no issues. But it's technology, and it is what it is. So this is our backup plan. All right. And for example, one time in November, we actually have a class scheduled on November 3rd, which is election day. And who knows what's going to happen on that day. So, you know, if something happens, this is going to be our backup plan. We're going to pick up where we left off. All right. Now let's take a look at the on-demand training portal. This is where you find all your training, which is the detailed training of each task in the CPSM certification training. You should have received access to a link. It would have came in your email. All right. And this would be the link that you would receive. You would click that link. It's going to bring you here. Use your email and your password. If it's not working, the password says you're not a member, whatever it is, click forgot password and use the email you provided to me. Okay. That's the email we're using. If you're still having problems, just shoot me an email and then I will reset it and make sure you're able to connect and get inside. All right. So, but you should have received that access detail. should have access if again, if you don't have it by now, let me know. I will set you up, make sure you're all good to go. All right, click forget password, log in. Once you log in, it's going to bring you to the home page where you see all the different courses involved in the curriculum. This is these are the detailed explanations of the tasks in the CPSM certification training. Very detailed. It's it's more detailed than what we're going to cover in the boot camp. In the boot camp, we focus on those points that make them that have the most questions on the exam that you really need to know. But then after that, you need to go into each one of these sections and go through that training in even more detail. All right, I'll explain more in the process a little bit later. But this is where you're going to find that detailed online on demand training portal because these sessions that you see during during the boot camp. They're not available after the boot camp. Okay. The reason we do that is we don't want people just saying, well, I'm going to watch the recording later because we know they're not. All right. The boot camp setup is live interactive training for everyone to listen, ask questions, go through the content, interact with each other in the classroom, all that other stuff. So that's the main experience. The other detail training is right here. So if you miss any sessions of the boot camp, you'll come here to make up those tasks that you missed during the boot camp. All right, so back to this thing. You'll go to start here. Once you go to start here, what I want to share with you here, watch the video, is the schedule. This schedule, this part right here, this is where you'll find appointment link to set up your appointment for coaching. For coaching. I do coaching on Thursdays. All right, anytime Thursdays that's available on my schedule, you'll find a link in here so you can schedule that coaching appointment. This is where you'll find that link. So just go in here, click the link. It syncs up with my schedule. If there's available time, book that time, and it sets up a coaching session for us to ask questions about the portal, ask questions about the content, ask questions about the exam, ask questions about anything you want to talk to. Coaching sessions are about 15 minutes long. Most of the time, that's enough time. Any longer, just shoot me an email, and we can set up a more a uh, specific time for you as well as a time that may be a little bit longer if it's required if it's required okay the next will be the actual lessons so this one i'm going to share with you the actual lesson so you find the sourcing here's the first lesson task alpha dash one one dash alpha 
And once you log in here, go to sourcing. Once you click on the sourcing, it'll bring you to the video. You'll watch the video. You'll see the learning objectives below. I'll talk about those a little bit more in a few minutes. And then you'll have downloads over here, the case studies and the questions and the answers. These are additional questions and answers that you might see. You won't see the actual questions on the exam, but these are examples of questions you could see on the exam. And this is where you'll download this. Again, this is for every task. This is the detailed training that you want to have in addition to, in addition to the boot camp. It all works together and then the workbooks what i'm going to do is send out on monday and actually i may send this out tomorrow friday is the workbooks give people time to go through them get set up is you'll come through and get the workbooks print this out and use this to take notes and this is what it looks like it has specific questions for specific tasks as we go through the content so you're looking for those answers you're looking to answer those questions and these are the most important points you need to know for each task this, so you want to make sure you fill these out as we're going through the training. At the end of each day, go back into the worksheets and fill them out completely using the content we covered during the training. Use the online modules, which I just shared with you, as well as the study guides that comes with the CPSM learning system. And I'll go through those in a second. Okay, so that's where you're going to find the answers to these worksheet questions. All right. So what, what do we have going on? So everyone learns differently. So we have auditory learning, which is my voice projecting to you. You have visual learnings, which you see on the screen. OK, you see that on the screen as well as you have kinetic learning, which is where you're actually writing things down to drive home those points even more. So however you learn best, there is a method for you here to learn that information. All right. So we have all the different tools here for you, for you. All right. Now let's take a look at the team conference rooms because throughout the training, we're going to go into case studies where everyone will go in and discuss the case study. I'll send it out beforehand. People will read it beforehand. I will read through the case study during class. I will give you a specific question to go into the conference room to ask yourselves and talk about. And then you'll go into the conference room. So let's go ahead and experience that now. You must have a Google account. So if you don't have that set up today, that's not a problem, but you need to have a Gmail account or a G Suite type account so you can access this. So you, have, you wanna have it already open, already ready to go, because when I send out the link, which I'm gonna do here in a second, we can all experience this, is then you can immediately just click the link and it'll take you right into the meeting room, all right? So what we'll do is we'll set up the rooms. I will have these set up pre, pre-assigned before the actual training. Everyone will go through, set those up. You'll have a team assignments and we rotate them every day. So you'll be with different people every single day. And then you'll go in and you'll do the case study. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna pick teams. We're gonna stick to, stick to two colors, which you'll see here in a second. I'll tell you which two colors. You'll pick your team and then you'll go into that conference room. And when you're in that conference room, I want you to talk to each other for about maybe five minutes, find three things you have in common, three things you have in common other than CPSM certification or supply chain management certification training. I will make a call, I'll let everyone know, hey, time's up, come back to the main classroom, which will be this room over here, the showtime room, and then we will just kind of allow you to post what everyone found in it. This is what it's going to look like on my side. As you can see, everyone's involved in their own little co uh, conference room. Uh, we, you know, based on the number, we kind of split them up three to four people per classroom, and then we come back together. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. First thing we need to do is set up our teams. So go ahead and here, pick your team. Pick your team. All right, so go ahead. And what I want you to do, all right, pick either blue or green. We don't have that many people in this bigger conference, so pick blue or green. So, if, so whoever picked red, go ahead and change your answer to blue or green. So blue or green, and what we're gonna do is balance the numbers. So if you see that we don't have enough people in blue or we don't have enough people in green, that's okay. You know, just go ahead and balance them out. All right, so it looks like we have them. So either you're in team blue or you're in team green. Team blue or team green. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link in the chat room for you to go to your 
particular conference room. So just go ahead and stand by, take a look at the links here. I'll let you know here in a second uh, where we're going to go. I'm going to go ahead and set up my classrooms. Start class. Go ahead. We're going to do this. It's all kinds of good stuff. I'm going to go break out rooms or what they're doing. My machine right now is setting all this up. All right. We'll make sure that you then allow allow the other browser to access your microphone and your camera as well. Okay. In fact, let me kind of show you what's guys what's going on. Right, stop sharing this, and I'm going to share with you my entire screen. All right. So this is what's going on right now. I'm setting up all the different classrooms here. All right. And then what I do is I go in here and I find our name. So we got blue. What, what, was our, what were our colors? Go back over here. Uh, what we had, blue or green? I think we had good. Yeah, blue or green. Blue or green. So what I'm going to do is go into our breakout session here. I'm going to grab those links. We got blue. So if you're in the blue, put that in the chat. All right, go ahead and go into the blue classroom. It'll automatically let you in. So you don't need to wait for me to let you in. It will automatically let you in. And then green. All right, so now I'm going to put in the green. All right, boom. All right, so if you're blue, go to blue. If you're in green, go to green. All right, go into the conference room. Once you're in the conference room, once you're in the conference room, then I, again, I want you to talk to each other and find three things in common, three things in common. All right. So that's what we want to do. It'll automatically let you in and you'll be all set. Yep, folks are starting to go in now. All right. You can see this. Yeah, I'll show you this, uh, these screens and kind of check it out. See all this stuff that starts to happen. Right. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and silence this out. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And you will be good to go. Go ahead and uh, ask each other again and we'll give it three or four minutes and then we'll bring everyone back together. So I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera off. Well, no, I'll keep it on, but you may want to mute me just so you don't hear both feedbacks. All right. So go ahead and go in there. Okay. Hey. So, folks, what we're going to do is we're going to break, come back to the main classroom. Everyone will just come back over here, and that way we can go ahead and continue on with the training. This is really just a demonstration to show you how it works. If you're having any trouble whatsoever, any trouble whatsoever, that's okay. We're, we've got time to work through it. And the, the main, usually the main issues are uh, you've got too much stuff on, your Google account's not set up correctly or whatever. So we'll figure that out. And let me, I'll show you some other things that we want to make sure that we've got good to go. So what we're going to do is close out these, close out these uh, conference rooms and I'll see you back in the main showtime room. All right. So go ahead and close out and we'll see you over there. All right. All right. Hang up. Remove it all and class over. All right, cool. We're all good to go here. Everyone did all right. Can you hear me? Can you everyone hear me? Can you hear me? Make sure you can hear me. All right, cool. Very good. Okay, so that was really just a demonstration of how we do the team conference room. And usually by the second or third day of week one, everyone has the hang of it and they know what they need to do. Uh, again, you need to make sure you have a Gmail type account that you can access this because it's Google meeting that we're using for this exercise. And it automatically puts people in. So you can come in. I heard folks talking, which was great, trying to do the exercise but it's technology and I don't want to keep everyone here all afternoon. I want to make sure we get to the competition so you can get your, your 10 bucks and you know, hopefully you win, right? Get your 10 bucks and be able to move through and we'll be good to go. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen a little bit more, make sure we are good to go with that area and we'll continue on with our presentation, but very good. If you like that, just go ahead and type in the chat box that, Hey, this was good enjoyed it or uh you know what problems you had make sure you note what problems you had 
and send that to me. And if we need to work through them, we can work through them before we do the boot camp training. So it's very important that we at least try it. And what we'll do is basically we'll set up an individual meeting between me and you directly and make sure that Google meeting is working correctly on your machine. And then we'll go back and make sure you're all good to go. All right. So that's, that's good. Good there. All right. So, okay. Now uh, we got there. So again, must have Google hangouts. And we will be doing this at least once a day. The good rhythm is we come in, we do lecture for about 45 minutes. We do a case study either before the break or right after the break. You go into your conference rooms for about 15 to 20 minutes. We come back, we go over the answers of the case study, and then we continue on. And then at the end of the day or towards the second half, then we kind of wrap up with the competition, which everyone gets excited about because they want to win some money, which is always a good thing. Now, let's talk about course materials. In addition to your online on-demand training, you get the course materials, which is your CPSM learning system. I'm going to stop sharing so I can share with you the system itself and what you should have, what you should have. Okay, so uh, let me go find all these books, right? They're heavy. I know you're like, Randy, what's up, corner? Okay, so yeah, seven books, right? Seven books. Seven books is your CPSM learning system. Now, in these books, you have three. You have the professional series, okay? Note here, professional series, right where my fingers are. All right, professional series. And drop that right there. You have the study guides, which again, right below my fingers, that's where you'll find the study guides. You have one of those books, either professional series or a study guide for each of the exams, okay? Usually, the professional series is set off to the side. You don't need to worry about that. The study guide is the main resource you want to use. You use the study guide for the worksheets. You'll use the study guide to really focus in on the most important content. Okay, so the professional series, you set off to the side. You may or may not ever open that. Most people never open it, but they really use the study guide. So what you can do is basically sit down on your computer to study. You'll have uh, your study guide open, your worksheets on the other side, and you have the, the online training going on, and then you just fill in the worksheets. That's how you focus your study, focus your effort. Instead of reading all this content, it's like, oh, my gosh, all this content, reading it. Just focus on those, those worksheet questions. That'll get you the most information that you really need to know. And then once you've gone through all the content, and I'm going to give you a good rhythm here in a minute on what to do. You're going to get the diagnostic test, Okay. So that's the seventh book in your series. So once you've gone through exam one, then you're going to take the diagnostic test for exam one. And once you do exam two, then you take the diagnostic test for exam two. And then once you do exam three, you're going to do the diagnostic test for exam three. Once you've taken all three diagnostic tests, then whatever you, whichever exam you do best on, that's going to be the first certification exam that you take. Now, once you do, once you're done with your diagnostic test, any of them, send me, and this is just an example, this score report. This is the score report I need. As you can see here, it gives you the number of questions, the number correct, and then you get a score a percentage. It goes all the way down, then you get a raw score, Try to do this like a, like doing it in a mirror. Okay, you get your your total score and raw score, and then you calculate that. You must pass the diagnostic test before you take the certification exam. You need that not only that's you kind of tells you you know what you need to know to go take the test, as well as you need to. That's also required for the guarantee. So if you don't pass the diagnostic test, you're not ready for the actual certification exam. Okay, so once you take the, the diagnostic test and you pass, then you send me your results. So I have record. You must send me the results before you take the certification exam in order to qualify for the guarantee. Then once you've done that, then you're ready to go and take the actual certification exam. Okay, so that's kind of the, how that works. And that's the content, the course material that you need. Now, let me go ahead and pull up my uh, slideshow again. All right, and I'll go over this again and again. Don't worry. Um, several times over the over the week to make sure you're, you're getting it and that you understand. So it's again a lot of content and it's just okay. 
All right, so very good here. So that's the con that's what you need. That's what you need. In addition to that, what I'm going to be sending you on, I'll probably send it tomorrow, the worksheets that you need to start filling out. Now, just a note, the folks who performed best at the end of the day competition to win the money prepared for class. That means they read the study guide, they tried to fill out their worksheets as much as possible so that at the end of the day, they can answer those questions quickly. As you'll see at the end of today, speed counts. The person who answers quickest wins more points than somebody who's a little bit slower. All right, so just keep it, just a thought, just a thought. All right, and this is our process that you want to follow to prepare for the actual exams, all right? So we complete the online modules in the portal. Everyone has different time schedules. So if you're like, oh my God, I gotta get this done by next week. No, just relax, do what you can, all right? Do what you can, but you know, the process is do the online modules, participate in the boot camp. Fill out the worksheets completely. That'll make sure you go and hit every little area in the content that you need to know for the exams. Take the diagnostic test. Once you have the diagnostic test complete, send me the results. Whichever exam, whichever the, the three diagnostic tests you do best on, that's the exam you're going to take first. Then set up a coaching call. All right. So send me the results. Set up a coaching call, and once you've taken all three exams, whichever one you've done best, then schedule your actual certification exam. All right, that's the process that we're going to go through. And I'll, again, I'll go over this again throughout the boot camp, but just know that's what it is. Now, let me share with you the CPSM exam strategy, what you need to do to prepare. Reasons people fail the CPSM exam. One is lack of preparation, which is not your fault problem because you're here. You're going to be with the boot camp. You're going to participate. And participation in the boot camp, attendance, being present in the boot camp is important. We can track who's here, who's not, who's active, who's not. All that's within our training, so we can see that. So that's part of it, being prepared and being involved in the training. That's why you invested in the boot camp. So get the most you can from it. So make sure that you are prepared. All right. The other thing, demands of work. And, of course, we have our executive CEO in the chair there. It also means demands of family. This is a serious effort. The CPSM certification exam is three separate three hour exams. So nine hours of evaluation. This is equivalent to engineers, project management professionals only have to take one four hour exam. You have to take three three hour exams. People taking the bar for lawyers, CPAs, they all take certification exams or exams that they qualify to help them qualify for their profession. You're at that level. So this is a commitment, a serious effort, and people need to give you time to prepare for this certification. It includes your work and your family. Okay, so make sure that they give you the time that you need to be successful in this. The benefits are better performance, higher value for your organization, which ultimately results in higher salary. ISM salary survey states that those that are certified make eight to 10% more than those who are not certified. So that's the results. And the reason you make more is because you bring more to the table. And this certification gives you the tools, the knowledge to bring more to the table. Personal issues, any personal issues that you may be going through. We had a gentleman whose mother-in-law was going through breast cancer, and that was affecting his ability to get through the content. We had someone who was recently laid off, was just trying to push through to get the exams done, and, and she wasn't having a, she wasn't being successful, but she had a lot of other things going on, which then affects it. So this needs to be something that you're focused on. If you have personal issues, let's deal with those issues first, and then when that's cleared up, then go take the certification exams vacation. You're not going to study on vacation. Don't even try. All right. Go on vacation. Have a good time. When you come back from vacation, about two weeks later, after you get caught back up with work, get back into your study routine, then schedule your certification exams. And ultimately, the biggest one is they don't follow the strategy, which we'll go over next week during the boot camp. We have folks on the call that are just kind of learning about what we're doing. And that's a super secret that I like to keep and share that for my uh, clients is the strategy to pass the exam, the exact exam strategy that you're going to do during the exams. Okay. People learn the strategy. They start the exams. They throw the strategy out the window. Don't throw the strategy out the window. It works. It gives you plenty of time, plenty of focus to get through the exams.
All right. The exam content, you have the supply management core. If you look at these, how they build together, why do they all work together? Supply management core is your basics of procurement supply chain management. The processes, the tasks, the very basics, the duties of the supply chain management professional. Integration is integrating those processes you learned in exam one into your organization with systems, with different systems and integrating it with the business units. And then you have the leadership and transformation, which enables you to do things in exam one and exam two throughout your organization. And the content builds on each other. They build on each other. So stuff you need and from exam three is also in exam one. So you have, that's why you gotta go through all the content first before you take any one exam, all right? When we get to exam three, the leadership part, you will have the opportunity to take a DISC leadership assessment, which is a great piece of gear. When I say gear, because you end up getting a report like this, that's over 60 pages of information about your leadership style and how to adjust your leadership style to be more effective based on the person you're dealing with. It goes by the platinum rule. Not the golden rule. The golden rule is treat other people how you want to be treated. The platinum rule is to treat other people how they want to be treated. And this DISC assessment assesses you and it gives you tools to be a more effective communicator, which enables you to build more consensus, build that trust and credibility throughout your organization so you're a better supply chain professional. So that's a bonus you get when we get to exam three. And I really like talking about that. Now, the exams themselves, you got three separate exams. Each exam is 165 questions, except exam one, which is 180 questions. Each of those exams has 15 test test questions. They're testing to see if they're good questions. So their graded questions are 150 questions graded on exams th two and three and 165 graded questions on exam one. Now, why is that important? Because if you notice 400 out of 600, is passing, which means a 66% means you can miss 50 graded questions and still pass this test. That's an important point when we talk about the exam strategy and we tell you which questions to skip, you'll say, why am I skipping all these questions? Because you can skip a lot of questions and still be successful. And it's important to skip the right questions so you have more time to focus on those questions you're going to get correct because you're focusing on those questions that you know, not the ones that you don't know. We'll talk about that next week. All right. To be a CPSM, three years experience in a bachelor's degree or five years experience without a bachelor's degree, pass the CPSM exams, which you will, and then apply. The reason I bring this up is that if you have colleagues who may not have a bachelor's degree, and they're like, I can't get CPSM, I don't have a bachelor's degree, they can't. You may want to invite them through this training so they can get the information they need to pass the certification. Your entire team can be certified. And when everyone's certified, everyone's operating on the same base of knowledge. So consider that as we go through today. If you have other colleagues who may want to join us, then let them know about what we're doing next week, if that fits their schedule, plus what we're doing in November. Okay, we're doing the whole thing again in November, all right? Uh, recertification every three years, you have to do 60 continuing education hours. And uh, so that's 20 per, uh, per year. You get that through our training in the online training portal, as well as different classes that we do throughout the year to give people continuing education hours. And ISM is very generous with giving credit for any supply chain training. So think about your diversity training that you may be going through. Diversity is a part of supply chain management, the CPSM certification. So those hours would be counted towards your continuing education hours. Well, again, we'll go through that. How do we prepare? A study, review, test, which is the diagnostic test. We'll analyze those results, send me those results, and then set up your coaching calls. As far as time management, what's the best thing to do? During the boot camp, of course, it's three hours, three days a week. After the boot camp, commit one hour per day, five days a week. Commit one hour per day, five days a week. And you can get through all the content in less than 30 days, meaning go back and fill in your worksheets, take your diagnostic test, do all that preparation work in less than 30 days after the boot camp. Then based on whichever diagnostic test you do best, then schedule that exam the next 60 days. So then you see the window of 90 days after the boot camp, how you can pass the certification exams to be covered by the guarantee. So after boot camp, 30 days of focused effort, one hour per day, one hour per day. And then the next 60 days after that, 30 days, focus on taking your certification exams. All right. Plan, plan, plan. 
diet, eat healthy, manage your addictions. Because when you sit down to take the test, it's three hours you're sitting there. So if you get up to go to the bathroom for 10 minutes, you lose 10 minutes on the test. So that's why you want to plan for that. So if you drink a lot of coffee like I do, or if you're a smoker or someone like I know she was addicted to food, she just had to eat all the time. So she had to plan for that before she went in to the exam to make sure she set aside time for that. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Again, I'll go over this again next week during the boot camp to make sure that we hit these main points again. All right, and then set up your coaching call. Call the phone number 877-680-0494, send me an email, or go to that link I showed you before in the online training portal, and we will set up your coaching call. Now, time for the competition. So, based on what I've talked about, I may have to give you a couple numbers, but we will go through that. And here we go. So make sure you have your other browsers set up. Give you a few seconds here to get that set up. And we're going to go through the question. Whoever the winner is is going to win $10 gift card to Amazon.com. You'll send me your email. I'll shoot it over to you this evening or first thing in the morning. And then you'll be good to go. So if you're ready, if you're ready, I'm ready. But before that, let me go ahead and see if there are any questions. So as if people are getting set up, I'm going to go into our show time here. See if there are any questions. Because I know once this is over, people are going to take off. So any questions, go ahead and go to the chat. And then we'll be good to go. All right. doesn't look like anything there. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen again. And we're going to get right to the competition. Everyone's like, questions? We don't have questions. We want to win. I got it. Not a problem. I want to put you in a position for success. So let's get to it. All right. So no question number one. Where do I live? Where do I I live. All right. Where do I live? Now, we didn't go over this. The screen didn't work in the beginning, but you may have heard it. So you may know where I live. So where do I live? I think I mentioned it before. Think about hurricanes. Go Gators. Hint, hint, wink, wink. All right. Think, think. All right. Good to go. All right. Let's see. Very good. All right, here we go. Florida. Correct. Very good, very good, correct, very forward, correct. All right, let's see how we do on the scoreboard, as you can see here. All right, well, all right, 1,000, all right, no problem. So speed counts. It's not just correct, but you also be, got to be quick. You got to be quick. All right, what, what do you do to get in the virtual classroom at start time? What do you do to get in the virtual classroom at start time? Do you call Randy? Reload the start page, scream at the computer. <laughs> oh, not, that might work. Hope the computer starts, none of the above. There's something very specific that I shared with you that if you've registered and you're sitting on the page and at start time it's not clicking over, you do something specific so that we can get started. Correct. Reload the start page. Just click reload. Once you click reload, the whole system will kind of reset. If you're still having trouble, maybe shut down your browser, start it again. Reload, log back in. So long as the link is open, you will have access. You will have access. All right, good to go. All right, good to go. See how it starts to separate? Got to be fast. Got to be fast. What is our backup plan if technology fails in the virtual classroom that you're in right now? If things just blow up, the system fails, whatever, what do we need to do first? What are we going to do? All right, throw the computer. <laughs> we should not be violent towards our computers. So we are just do exactly what we tell them to do. All right, everyone's answered. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next question. And that is correct. I will send a Google meeting link. It'll be very deliberate. I will broadcast on the screen here. Hey, technology is failing. So if you're still with me, we're going to a Google meeting. I'm signing off now. Stand by for an email. Then I will go over. I will set up a Google meeting. I will put the link. I will blast it to the class. Give everyone a few minutes to click that link and come into that classroom, and then we'll just continue. So that's our backup plan. The reason we had that backup plan is because I've been dealing with these platforms for a long time, and as reliable as some of them are, they always tend to have an issue. And I want to make sure we have a backup plan because we have a lot of content to go through, and we really don't have time to play with technology. So that's what we're going to do. All right. All right. Good to go. Good to go. Now, how do you get your password for the online training portal? So if you go into that page, and you, for some reason, your password is not working. What do you do? Check my mail, check your email, call Randy, click forgot password. I was very specific about one thing. All right. Call Randy, always call me, it's fine. But you know, check your email, should be there. But if that doesn't work, 
click forgot password click forgot password okay the main one is that if your password is not working for whatever reason you should have received the email again if you haven't received that email shoot me an email and i'll send it to you make sure you, you've got access to the online training portal and we'll make sure you're all squared away all right make sure you're all squared away if you know if once you're logged in and you're in the platform if the password for some reason goes crazy then click that forgot password and you may be good to go what to do when I get my workbook on Monday? When, you, when I send out the workbook, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? Print it out or answer all the questions? What do you think? What do you think? Print it out or answer all the questions? All right. Got all the answers. Everyone's in. Correct. Print it out. Print it out. That's going to be your cliff notes, your outline for the training. So as I'm going through the presentations, we will be teaching towards those questions. Okay. So as I'm going through, you'll be going in and you say, ah, oh, there's the answer. Write it down. There's the answer. Write it down. Whatever you don't catch in the presentation that I'm doing here, then you can get that in the online training portal. Whatever you don't find there, you can also find in the study guide. And if for any reason you don't find it there or there, all you need to do is set up a coaching call with me so I can fill that in for you quickly. It's important that you don't struggle with the content. I want you to see it, understand it, and process it and move on. If you're struggling, like I don't get it, I'm not remembering, I don't, I don't whatever it is, stop coaching call. Stop coaching call. Okay, most people work through it. It's not a big issue. But if you're struggling for any reason, use the coaching call. All right, very good. All right, doing well. Oh, Seth is showing up. Hello, Seth. Welcome. Good job. All right, next. When are you ready to take the CPSM certification exams? When are you ready? After the boot camp, when you pass the diagnostic test, when I complete all modules in the online training. There's a very specific thing that tells you you're ready for the certification exams. And one of those answers, which one is it? You need to do all those other things, but one thing that you need to do to know you're ready, correct diagnostic test. When you pass the diagnostic test, then you're ready to take the certification exams. Okay. And now I know people say, well, I'll just send you the answers to be covered by the guarantee. Waste your time. Don't. Don't waste your time. That's more important. You're going to spend three hours in that exam. And if you don't pass, you got to go back and do it again. Okay, so the certification diagnostic test tells you you're ready to go. If you're not passing it, you're like, well, I just need to move on. So I'm just going to pencil whip it, get ready to a passing score so I qualify for the guarantee, and then I'll take the test. We got you covered either way. You're set. What's a bigger expense is your time. So make sure you're ready for the certification exams before you take them. And that certification, the diagnostic test is the key to that. All right. Very good. Kaylee, you're doing well. Good job. But there's still someone within striking distance. What is the number one reason people fail the exam? What is the number one reason? I was very specific and I said it and I almost jumped up and down, but you wouldn't see me jump up and down in the camera. What is the one thing? One reason people fail the exam. Not follow the strategy. That's correct. Lack of preparation, you're prepared. You go through the boot camp, you study, you do everything you're supposed to do, you pass the diagnostic test, you're prepared. What happens is people get into the exam and the strategy I teach you next week, they just throw out the window, say, I'm not doing that. They get panicked, whatever it is. What I can tell you is that if you follow the strategy, you will have plenty of time. People who follow the strategy have anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes left over, meaning they've answered every single question. They've gone through every other question they thought they had to go check, and they still have time left over because the strategy works. The strategy works. All right, very good. And pulled it out the last minute. Good job. All right. Well done. Outstanding. Well, this is the kind of excitement you're going to experience every single day as we go through the boot camp. Okay. At the end of each day, people go in, we do this competition, we go over the key points in the competition, just like you experienced. And whoever the winner is, you get a $25 gift card to amazon.com that you can use on what you want. Okay. So good job. Congratulations. And well done. I'll shoot you over that uh, gift card. Make sure I have your email. I think I do. But we want to make sure you're all set and you're squared away and you will be good to go. 
Now, are there any questions? That's where I'm going to go to the uh, questions in the uh, portal. All right. Am I pointing to it over here? No, it's on this side. Okay. Questions on the portal uh, over here. Let me escape that. If you have any questions about anything so far, let's go ahead and ask those questions now. Stop sharing the screen. I'll go right here. If you got questions. Okay. Again, questions are right up here where it says questions. Let me try to line up. There we go. It says questions up there. Make sure you, you take a look at those questions, and then I will be able to be good to go. Okay, question. Will you offer the boot camp in December, January, and February? The answer is most likely. We are building a following. Do we want to make sure that this is going to work, uh, that this is people are enjoying this? And so far, the feedback from the first one is positive, so we want to make sure we get that. So we will be announcing those dates here in the, in the near future because we know people are planning for 2021 funding and those type of things. We'll announce those dates for the spring coming up so people can go ahead and schedule and get registered and be good to go. Awesome. Online boot camp, that is definitely. I understand. Yeah, the online, the the actual in-person boot camp right now, what we're hearing, what we're people are we're seeing are people are not traveling and training is the lowest priority for any company to pay for anyone to travel for risk reasons and even money reasons. So online is probably what we'll be doing a lot next year. We may do one. We've got one scheduled for March, but right now we have a few people asking, matter of fact, nobody's asking to attend that because people just aren't traveling and travel budgets are going to be so small. So the online training is most likely what we're going to focus on next year. So great question. Awesome. Any other questions about anything? about anything. All right, so this is going to be recorded. I'm going to go ahead and repost it. I'll blast it out to folks so you can rewatch it, share it with your colleagues. If they have questions like, well, I don't know if I have time. I'm not sure if this is what I want to do. Share them this video so they can kind of see what the experience is going to be like. And then they can decide to join us either next week in October or even in November. Or if they want to gear up, let me know they're interested for a specific date in January, February, or March. So we can go ahead and, you know, set them up and, and reserve their spot. Okay. So that's all good stuff. All right. With that, it's been here. We're right at the top of the hour. Awesome. Never punish the punctual. Thank you for your time. You were doing great. Everyone participated. Congratulations again to Ann. Awesome. Good job. And for everyone else, we'll see you next week. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.